All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the storyboard layout method in Album DS. And to get started, all you need to do is create that storyboard layout. I've already got my project open. I'm just using the sample project here. And you should have all your images you're going to use for a project already imported before you use this mode. So what you need to do is go to the Album menu and go ahead and choose Create Storyboard Layout. And this is going to create one page with all these different photos on it. And you can sort by any of the methods mentioned here. And I'm going to go ahead and make the picture size a little bigger. This is just the size of the thumbnails. And I'm going to go just a little over 300. And now Album DS is going ahead and creating a storyboard for me. And you can save the storyboard once you've created it. All right, so there is my storyboard layout. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here. And now let's go ahead and open up a template, and I'll show you what you can do with the storyboard. You would basically use this, and this might have, you know, a couple hundred photos on it even. And you can use it to organize your project and tell the story as far as what's going to be on each page. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and open up a template. So let's open up uh, this one here. And remember, Album DS when populating automatically always goes from the top layer down and not necessarily the way you see it on screen. In other words, this will be uh, first will be what's in the first layer here, which happens to be right here. Second will be right here, third, fourth, etc. So this one is um, set up the way I want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so I can see what's where. And now what I can do, and you can do this page to page. Um, you know, typically you would go ahead and have your stuff laid out first, and then you would find a template that would fit. In this case, I'm opening a template first, and I'm going to find pictures to fit. So I need up here, let's go ahead and go with a vertical. And then we have a horizontal here. And then let's take a peek. We have underneath that another horizontal, so we'll go with this one here. And then after that, we have another vertical, so we'll go with this one here. And then it goes on to the other side of the page where we have a vertical first. So we'll go ahead and use, well, let's go ahead and use this one. Or excuse me, a horizontal. Then we have our vertical. So in fact, let's switch to a different bride. Here's our horizontal. Here's our vertical. And then we have another vertical. And finally, a horizontal. And so now that I have all of these, I'm going to go ahead and group them. I'm going to do that just by selecting all of them. You can see them all selected here. And then I can come over to um, the View menu. Excuse me, I think it's the Select menu. Oh, where'd it go? It was just there, I promise. Okay, I think it's in the layer menu. There it is, layer menu, group. Control G, that'll group them. So once you group them, you see it shows up here. You can go back to Album DS, and now you can say, hey, I want those pictures uh, to import from storyboard layout. You can see there's a shortcut, Control I, and all you do is go ahead and select it. It's letting me know I'm about to do it. Yes, I want to do it. And now it'll go ahead and fill everything in for me. So this is Album DS taking over. And now that page is done. So now I can come on over here, and if I need to make any small adjustments, I'm going to go ahead and, for instance, move this over slightly. And other than that, I think everything looked good. So I can go into Sheet, Save Sheet. We'll call this Sheet 4. I'll accept it.
and once that's uh, saved and everything, you can close it. Now with this group here, I'm going to go ahead and just hit delete to delete that group because I've already used it. Now I'd know, okay, well I want to do something with these two pictures. So I can actually, let's say these three pictures. So I could now group these. Let's find a template first. Let's go ahead and search and we're going to filter and we're going to look for two horizontals and one vertical. We'll filter that. We didn't have any results in what was open, so let's open up some more templates. So there's some more. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Here's our template. We have uh, the first thing that's going to be filled in is going to be this shape right here. Then this one then this one. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that in the middle there. And I can go ahead and um, group those. So now they're in a group. And I can go picture import from storyboard layout. And you can continue doing your whole album in this manner if you so choose. And there we go. And I would just go on to the next page from here, but that's the basics of the storyboard layout. Hope you like it.